2014 Whitehawk 21 FBS just rolled in here at Haylet Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, I am dodging raindrops out here. I'm actually uh, operating under an umbrella right now, but we don't let uh, rain, sleet, or snow stop us. We figure there's uh, a lot of people out there still uh, looking for RVs, and some bad weather here shouldn't stop you. Um, last year, this was called a J Feather 24T. Um, Jayco is converting all of their hard side J feathers into White Hawk models uh, to really just offer you a higher quality ultralight than what you commonly find on the market. And you notice they really take the time to do the extra steps. You see how the sides of the slides are color keyed? Um, the sides of the slides are also vacuum laminated. Most manufacturers of lightweights don't laminate the sides of their slide outs. That means there's no structure, no support, no insulation in those. Um, it's just kind of the illusion of a wall there in a sense. These are five sided vacuum laminated. If you're not familiar with the types of lamination, let us know. Long story short of it, it's one of the reasons the Jagos have the highest resale value of any uh, RV out there in general. Um, that's especially true in their travel trailers. These hold far more value in, on trade than everything else. Um, if you look at the awning, you see you've got a good 18 foot awning here. A lot of lightweights are really going to skimp and give you a 12 to 14 foot awning. Um, Jayco has moved more toward the bumper mounted grills here. Um, that's what that little bracket is for so that uh, you can hop out the back door, stand under your awning, flip your burgers and your brats and hop back inside. On a rainy day like today, that's real nice. Um, one thing I always like to point out, uh, Jayco's have twice the warranty of anybody else. That's one of the reasons they have that uh, higher resale value. Um, they just are built a cut above and they last longer. Let's step inside here. Thank goodness for automatic umbrellas. Bear with me just a moment. Now it's a little bit overcast outside, so it's going to be a little dark in here. I apologize for that. But it does give you a chance to see this big window over the dinette right here. Now they've really stepped it up above the J-Feather when they moved into the White Hawk. Um, you're looking at uh, upgraded carpeting on these. Your, uh, you know, your fit and your finish is fantastic in these. You see all the cool radius work. And I love the color patterns in here. Now we will typically have several of these in stock over the course of a year. And we will often equip them the same way, but maybe with a different color scheme. So the one that we have in stock may be a slightly different color on the inside, but generally the equipment's going to be pretty much identical to what you see here. Um, Whitehawk is a newer offering from Jayco, and they, uh, they just really felt like they never really had a great ultralight, and I definitely think they do now. Here's some things you're not going to find on common ultralights. Central air in a 21-foot camper. That's not a normal thing in lightweight trailers. Normally you only get a roof mounted AC, and even though it's the same power, this central unit, because it cools the whole, whole coach evenly, is far more efficient, far more powerful. Also, I can count on one hand the number of lightweight trailers I've ever seen with an eight cubic foot fridge instead of a six. That means 60% more camping time instead of uh, you know grocery store time. Um, these have automatic ignition, gas, and electric water heaters. A lot of your lightweights are going to be gas only. Um, you know, they, they, uh, they, there's two ways to make a trailer light. One is by stripping out things, which is the wrong way to do it. Um, I don't believe in decontenting a trailer. I believe in making it better. This is your TV area, and it has a, a black accent interior paneling is one of the reasons this is really dark looking right here. Um, we generally have the TV shipped loose. Uh, so that we uh, don't need to worry about it. This one does include a 26 inch TV. Uh, the trailer that we're standing in, we've added the uh, the power tongue jack, the power awning, as well as the RVQ grill. And like I said, we generally will equip them the same way, but always call and double check or read through the options list here uh, on our website uh, because we do like to go through and explain those. Um, back up a little bit, try to get some light in there. This is a huge rear closet. Now, all the shelving in here is removable. You see you have the hanging bar up top, and this shelf can be removed. What's neat is if you remove that top shelf, you can almost still have two shelves here to use as storage space. Plus, you have all this dresser space down here. Lightweight trailers often have little to no storage space, so it's nice that they uh, took that into consideration. And that's one of the things I've always liked about Jayco's. Their, their mantra for many years has always been the most livable trailers. 
And I think it's because they have a, a couple of guys that they call their campsite auditors. And they actually have guys whose entire job it is to take every one out of six of their trailers, pull them to Jayco's own campsite on their campus, basically, and just use them. Just pretend to camp in them. And it has given them some extra insight on their RVs that most manufacturers seem to lack. Um, you know, things I see like this extra window right here. You know, someone probably sat here and said, you know, there's just, there's, there's, I feel like I'm in a cave up here, so let's add an extra window. Or things like the sink, you know. A lot of times when you're, you're done with your dishes, you got to have a place to put them. So they add some extra counter space right here where a lot of models won't have it. So you can have a sink strainer or some towels or even serving space for dinner. Anything like that. They go a step above and beyond. And that's one of the reasons these have been just such a crowd favorite for us. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. We have financing. We offer trades. Uh, full RV service department. We do everything here. It's why we're the largest independent RV dealer in the state of Michigan. 800-256-5196. Hale it Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan.